a couple of weeks ago, Steam decided they were going to do um, one of their free weekends. Uh, they chose to do uh, Chivalry. Now I decided I was going to play Chivalry, uh, give it a bit of a whirl, see what it's like. And um, I had a real good time on it. I wasn't expecting to have this much fun with it, and I did. Uh, I mean, it it kind of, when I downloaded it, it kind of looked a bit shit. It took a bit of a while to get working because the game's buggy as sin. Just You couldn't get it to work for level money half the time. Joining a server was equally as much of a chore, and when you did get onto the server, you were lucky if you had a decent ping, even though you may have chosen a ping server of 50. But that's not the point. The point of the game is that, you know, you have fun. Um, but it did take, like, half an hour to even get that. <laughs> now, um, you st you the I was playing you the game and I, I learned very, very, very quickly that if you use anything other than a two-handed weapon, oh, took, then you're just arc. wasting your time. The classes are extremely imbalanced. Um, a knight, for example, can carry a massive shield, a massive two-handed sword, and a side mini-sword to go with his shield, and he's got like a uh, ton of armor on him and he can run just as fast as an archer who's got a tin hat and um, a twig so it doesn't really seem fair that an archer can do that look, run that slow um, have so little damage so little damage I mean you hit someone with a bow and arrow in the face and they just run up to you with this arrow sticking out their chin going ha ha and then they just sort of like poke you in the eye and if you're trying to draw your bow and you hold it down for too long you put your arrow away and that's really infinitely frustrating and if you get hit while you're drawing your arrow you put your arrow away and it's just like why would you play a ranged class in this game the only advantage with ranged classes is if you get a group of five of you and you're sat in one corner no one can really get close to you because they eventually will die I mean five arrows as long as they all hit have a tendency to sort of kill someone in this game but the two handed weapons just seem to be the easiest way to get a kill just strike to one side and slice off their head it's good fun the um the other problems I like I, I didn't like the game uh, some of the animations were a bit sketchy I thought that it was in places not smooth enough the weapons didn't feel or look sort of just right perhaps big enough they, they seemed very thin like there wasn't much to them and I'm sort of running around chopping off limbs I kind of want a bit of a big meaty stick in my hand it's, I don't mean anything gay by that by the way just, <laughs> well, whatever. Take that however you please. You probably have done now anyway. So, so it doesn't matter. But you just... The game's £19, right? Why is it £19? Can someone please justify to me why this game is £19? It's a multiplayer game. It doesn't really have a very finished feel about it. The best of times, oh, nice. it has a very glitchy feel about it. I mean, arrows get stuck in Ow. odd positions, I don't and know, I don't axes know seem to float above characters, and the when you spawn, you can have really <gasps> dodgy spawn glitches. In my and for some reason, for some unknown oh, reason, I, I, punching I, 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 someone does more <laughs> damage than stabbing them in the neck with a, with a fucking dagger. I, and I don't get that. It just it doesn't really make too much sense. I mean, you can Don't down really someone much person, faster with your fists than you can um, with a little tiny dagger hacking at the really? side of their head. And last time I checked, oh, my fists on, weren't made of razor through. blades. Although they might be in this game, I guess. Because um, a lot of things don't make sense in this game. Right. Did I have fun? Oh, the fun I had with this game. I, I, it, I was laughing from start to finish while playing this game. I, ha I played it for the whole weekend. I thought it was fan fucking tastic. I would love to play this game again and again and again and again. Can I justify the price tag? No, it's just plain and simple. You cannot justify that sort of price tag on a game like this. It needs to be Steam. Just take it from me, Steam. Please make the game. Five pounds. Just make it five pounds, not nineteen pounds, because you would sell more. And also, Steam, stop with this dodgy pricing of things. I now going on Steam and I look at Steam games like twelve pounds. Twelve pounds? 
But what happened to the days when I could go out and buy a game for a fiver or a tenner? What's what's the deal with twelve pounds? I don't want I don't want change. Change is just irritating. And just what is Steam doing these days? I, it does make me wonder why they even release some games. But anyway, I hope this sort of informs you a little bit about the game. It, it is quite fun. It's quite fun. You will wet yourself with laughter at least one point while playing the game. But don't buy it, for the love of God.